So one of the things I'm doing here is if she's getting really excited and jumping on me, I'm asking for my space again. Good. And I, I reclaim my space from her by asking her to move out of it. Move. And I can use a little bit of additional positive reinforcement here if I need to, because I have treats for it. Ah, ah. But I also want her to learn that no, um, this type of behavior doesn't get rewarded. Just to make sure that she doesn't start a pattern of, oh, if I jump on you a few times, and then I stop, good girl, then I'll get a reward. I'm gonna reward this because she gave it a little yawn there, which means she's decompressing a little bit. And I can pet her really gently, keep my energy really calm. Good, to help with her being really excited right now. No. No. Good. No. Good. So this is another thing we can do is work on a little bit of impulse control here. Where no. Good. Or we can say if you approach my hand uninvited, the treat moves a little bit farther away from you. If you stay still, you get the treat. is good to watch and pull things up out of her face so it's easier. I'm gonna move really slowly, keep my energy really low because that'll help her relax. Because we're gonna use the, the e-collar stimulation, we're gonna tighten this a little bit. I'll loosen it at the end of our session so it's not sitting on her too tight all day. Just making chewing on the leash a little bit less comfortable by pulling it out of her mouth. Ah. Because she was pretty gentle. Good. Because she was pretty gentle, I don't mind sticking my finger in there and either pressing on her cheek right here, good, or pressing down on her tongue. she's not going to chomp on my finger. Just little things to make it less comfortable to bite the leash, which will help her learn not to do that. Good. I don't particularly like her nose bumping my treat pouch either. It's a little bit pushy. Um, so I'll just keep an eye on that and see if it's a, an indicator that she's going to be more pushy during the walk, or if it's a way that she's practicing being pushy that spills over into other areas. Good. 
And you can also teach them to back away from a closed fist. Uh, good. You can hold treats in one hand. Good. And good. The moment she backs away from your fist, you can give her a treat from the other hand. Good. And it helps to reward. Good. Good. With something different from the thing you're asking them to move away from, because then they don't get the idea that if I just wait long enough at this closed fist, eventually I'll get what's inside it. We're going to offer her good, something of equal value, but from a different source so that whatever's in this hand becomes less valuable because it's not attainable. Good. Good. And then to keep her from doing a tap, good. With her nose here, I can kind of, again, I can kind of interrupt it before she has a chance to, good, before she has a chance to actually tap my hand. 